So this is a problem I'm having installing Gladiator. I have downloaded all of my Gladiator files and they are in this folder on my desktop called Gladiator. So when I open that up I have uh, I have the uh, this one right here 2.4 PC 64-bit fixed which I have already unzipped and it is actually actually I'm gonna unzip it again okay going to extract it going to replace whatever's there and there is my unzipped file okay now I'm going to go back to um, I'm going to go back to gladiator and there is my um, <clears throat> there's my installation file right there so I'm going to install Gladiator. Okay. Yes, I want to install it. There's the setup wizard. Yes. I will accept the agreement. Click next. It's going to install it to uh, program files cakewalk VST plugins, which is what I use with Sonar X3. Uh, this is a Windows computer running uh, Windows 8 64-bit and I'm installing it Okay, and there it says completed. Click finish to set up. Okay, so now I finished. Now the instructions <clears throat> that came. Okay, there is my there's my key file, and then the instructions that came with the 64-bit uh, Windows fix. Are telling me to close my host software I don't have it running run the installer of the full version I just did that go to the 64-bit directory and replace the DLL with the one from this patch so I'm gonna to go to my computer and I'm gonna to go to program files cakewalk and VST plugins and there's the gladiator data that's copied over so we know that it's there and then there's all of the gladiator manuals and the gladiator skin and there's the DLL so I'm going to I'm going to take that DLL and I'm going to delete it and it's now gone and then I'm going to take the DLL from here and I'm going to copy it over here so there it's there's the new DLL that showed up okay now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to this file where my key file was, which is right there. And I'm going to put my key file in the folder with Gladiator, the new DLL. So there's the key file, and there's the DLL. And I'm going to close that. And now I'm going to open Sonar. Okay, this is Sonar X3 producer
scanning plugins, 157 found, zero new, zero removed. Okay, I'm going to open up just a file here. Still opening. Okay, there's my file. Here's my synth rack over here. So I'm going to check to see. I'm going to insert a synth. I'm going to go to my VS2 synths of what I have available. And there's my list. Starting with Absinthe, everything's in alphabetical order. And you can see that Gladiator is not there. Between Geist and Goth thing, there's no Gladiator. And we'll go all the way to the end of this. And there's the bottom of it. No gladiator. Um, I'm going to go over here to my uh, Cakewalk plugin manager. I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to look at VST Instruments. There's a list of all the plugins I found. And you can see that Gladiator does not show up in the list of plugins. Nowhere. And it's not under, it's not a DirectX plugin. It's not a, uh, it's not an auto effect, it's not an audio effect. Okay, it doesn't show up in this one. Okay, nowhere, not a direct X effect. Okay, not there either. That's the end of that. So I will also go to my MIDI preferences, my VST, my VST settings, and you can see that it is scanning program files, Cakewalk, VST plugins. Just to make sure, we'll scan it again. And there, 157 plugins found, zero new zero removed. So I've replicated this several times now and have been unable to install Gladiator so if I'm doing something wrong uh, please let me know. Thanks very much.